In this feature tour, I'm going to show you Site Sculptor, WebSys' new Dreamweaver extension. This extension, which is the latest edition of Site Assist Professional, will create your entire website, including navigation and even content management, in just a few minutes. This extension is invaluable to new web developers who are looking for ways to create websites in Dreamweaver, as well as web developers who are creating sites for clients. In this feature tour, I'm going to show you how quickly you can create a site that looks the way you want it to, and how you can manage the content of that site in just a few minutes using Site Sculptor. In creating Site Sculptor, we have streamlined the process that was found in Site Assist Professional. To start off, we've created the Quick Insert interface where you can choose all the primary settings for your site on the Swan interface and click Finish, and your entire site will be created. From the Quick Insert interface, all you have to do is choose, your, choose the site type that you want to create. We have some preset site types for you to choose from, and these are just starting points to help you with the types of pages that will be included in a site. I'm going to choose one that closely matches what I'm aiming to create, which is personal. The next step is to choose your site design. The site Sculptor comes pre-installed with a number of designs for you to choose from. And you can also import any Dreamweaver template that you've created or purchased from a third party. I'm going to select one of my custom templates that I've created myself. Site Sculptor can work with any Dreamweaver template you've created, and all you have to do in order to use the content management feature is specify editable regions on your template for every area that you want included in your content management. So here's a template that I've selected. Now, as you can see, the Include Content Management with this site checkbox is already selected, which means that when Site Sculptor creates the site, content management will be applied to every single page, and I'll be able to go into the content management system after to maintain the content of my website. I'll show you that at the end of this feature tour. So, once you've specified the basic settings of your site, I could click Finish and it would create the entire personal website using this template. However, I'm going to make a few customizations to show you the flexibility of Site Sculptor. The Site Type interface allows you to manage the navigation and pages that will be created in your site. Because I chose the personal preset site type from the Quick Insert interface, all these pages are defined for the personal website. Now what you can do here is pick and choose the pages that you want, and it's very easy for you to add additional pages if you'd like. I'm not going to have a photo section of my website, so I'm going to select that option here and choose Delete to remove this option. And as you can see, photo, the Photos option is no longer list, listed in, the, in this tree structure here, and the preview no longer shows my Photos option in the menu. So once you've finished customizing the pages that are going to be created in your site, you can click Finish. And you'll be asked if you want to save this site type as a new preset. I'm going to do this so that if I ever want to recreate this website, all I have to do is choose this site type and all my settings will be remembered. So now that I've customized my site type to contain the pages and navigation that I want, I'm now going to show you how you can customize the, your site design. Built into Site Sculptor is Themeit, another Web Assist extension. This, is the, this extension makes it easy for you to manage any web design's colors and images. Now because I have a custom template, I've already pretty much nailed down how I want this design to look, so I'm going to show you how you can use Themeit to customize one of the preset designs that comes with Site Sculptor. So I've chosen this travel website, and now I'm going to and open up Themeit. So when Themeit opens, you'll see a preview of your site design on the right-hand side and all the colors used by your site on the left-hand side. One great way to quickly change the colors of the entire site is to use this Tweak It feature. If I click this once, it's going to update all the colors around the color wheel. And as you can see, the site design has already changed quite significantly. So the next thing I'm going to want to change is the logo to match the logo that I want to use with this website. So on Themeit's Manage Images tab, all the images used in the site design are available for you to change or edit as desired. 
I have a different image which I would like to use, so all I have to do is browse to that image. And now the logo has been updated on my site. So I'm ready to go ahead and use this design to create my site. So now that I've shown you how easy it is to use Thema to customize your design, I'm going to switch back to my own custom template. And I'm now ready to have Site Sculpt to create my site. So I click Finish. And when Site Sculpt is finished creating all my files, you're given a notice to tell you what to do next. The next step really is upload your files to your server. So once you've uploaded your Site Sculptor site, simply open up your browser and go to your website. If this is the first time that you've been visited, you visited your site after uploading your Site Sculptor files, you'll be prompted to install the content management system before you can start using your site. This is a quick four-step wizard that just takes a minute to set up. And once you've completed the installation wizard, you'll have set up your content management system for you to start maintaining the content of your website. So let me show you how the content management system works and how easy it is to maintain the content of your site. So here's the content management that's set up automatically for you when you created your site sculptor site. To maintain any of the content of your pages, you can choose any of the pages on the left hand side to instantly start editing, or you can also do it directly from your website. So here's the home page of my website. And since I'm logged into my CMS, you'll notice edit icons next to all the editable regions. So all I have to do if I want to update the content on my home page is ho hover over the content area I want to change and when I click I'm taken straight to the area that I need to edit. And the content is instantly updated on my home page. So that concludes this feature tour and as you can see I've finished creating my entire website and all I need to do now is go and update the content so that it's ready to go live. SiteSculptor really is the easiest extension to use to create a complete website from scratch. I hope you've enjoyed this feature tour. For more information on Site Sculptor and any of our other Dreamweaver extensions, check us out at webassist.com.